All right. Happy Monday, everyone. So last time when we were discussing, we were talking about rapid changes versus changes over time. So today we're going to kind of focus in on a landform that takes a long time to form. Remember, rapid changes, it happens quickly, where changes over time, it takes thousands, millions of years. Okay, so for landforms that change over time, they're pretty much going to be changed by three major things. It's going to be wind, water, or ice. So things like canyons, deltas, and sand dunes all have been changed by either one of those three things or a combination of the three. All right. All right. So now you want to make a prediction. What do you think those three things have changed by the most? So a canyon, was it changed the most by wind, water, or ice? Delta, was it changed the most by wind, water, or ice? And then sand dunes, do you think those were formed mostly by wind, water, or ice? What do you think? we're going to focus on today is going to be a delta. Now a delta is uh, something that you find where a river meets the mouth of an ocean and the river as it's going along is constantly picking up different sediments such as soil and sand and things like that. So it's eroding them away or carrying them and then it's depositing those at the mouth of the ocean creating a new landform which then is going to start to block the river from being able to travel that way meaning the river is going to have to form a new path to travel and once it forms that new path then it's going to start to create triangular shapes and things like that so basically when we're thinking about a delta what's happening is the river's going picking up some dirt picking up some sand or eroding it away and then as it's carrying it along it drops it off and deposits it back at the mouth of the ocean so then once it gets to the mouth of the ocean it'll start to form these new landforms like we were saying before and it's going to have that triangular shape and this is a repeated process so that means it's going to continually happen over years and years and years so that river maybe it'll start off going this way then once the delta forms and you have that triangle landmass it'll start to form this way and it'll just constantly change directions in order to meet the ocean but basically you can think of deltas as being that triangular shape where sediments such as soil and sand are carried and deposited or dropped off right there at the mouth of the ocean all right so in conclusion deltas are formed mostly by water mostly going to be rivers picking up those sediments dropping them off like we said before canyons are also going to be formed mostly by water such as rivers carving and cutting through that rock and then finally sand dunes are mostly going to be formed by the wind see you guys tomorrow have a great evening yo